Okay. Oh, it's filming. <laughs> so, okay, so this video is going to be our New Year's resolutions mm -hmm. and... And our ditches from 2014 because God knows we did some pretty shit stuff in 2014 as well. So. Yeah, and I bet all of you have. Mm, yeah, you're guilty as much as we are. So number one for New Year's resolutions is meet new people. Mm -hmm. So we kind of decided that obviously we love our friends. Me and Greg, we love meeting new people mm -hmm. and making new friends and going, you know, just like going out with different people. It's just fun. It's kind of nice to have like a fresh start and then everyone can join in. It's kind yeah, of, like our whole yeah. group can meet new people. <laughs> number two is that we want to go to more parties, basically, because... Mm, go been, out more. Yeah, we've been to plenty of parties, but the fact of the matter is, not enough. Yeah. I haven't drunk alcohol as nearly as much as I would like to during this entire New Year's. That's what I'm saying. You only get childhood for a very little time, and teenage years, I have three years of being a teenager left. You have four, so you have enjoyed that one. Yeah, year. we've been invited to parties. It's just like we're kind of like, oh, can we be bothered because we have to go all the way here? Mm -hmm. If I don't feel like it, I don't think it's going to be good. It ends up being really good and so much fun. Yeah. And if I think it's going to be amazing, it turns out really bad. So like you lower your expectations and enjoy it more. Number three is go, go explore because God knows we're so closed. I know. Like, just go out. Like. I mean, we should go to like London more and go, go to Camden, to... go shopping. Yeah, Reading. No, like, no, like maybe in Scotland. I, mean, any, any I haven't park. been to a concert or like festivals in my entire life. What we mean is like anywhere you are in the world, like what's the point in staying where you are where you can go and explore loads of different places? If you don't go and explore, you will regret it. Yeah. Just take a bus to somewhere. Go on a car trip with your friends if they invite you out. If you're gonna say, oh, you know what, I'm really lonely, do you wanna come over for a cup of tea? Say yes! I mean, unless you've got some sort of big exam. You don't have a big exam, your life is not important. Have <laughs> <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> Number four. It is... Get a boyfriend! <laughs> We're not saying you should have to get a boyfriend, like get a boyfriend or... Oh, this is not for you, this is for us. Yeah, this is for us, we're just telling you what we want. Yeah. <laughs> we want a boyfriend! <laughs> kind of not lower your standards and like, oh, go for anyone, because obviously that's not right. I mean, I've been trying to get a boyfriend because I feel like I'm approachable, I feel like I'm attractive, I feel like I'm friendly, but whenever I meet someone, I always mess it up, I always never be myself, and it just gets really awkward. Which brings then, us back to be yourself. You know you want that one person, it's gonna sound really cheesy, okay? <laughs> you know you want that one person that you just kinda like hold on to, you can trust with every secret, you can just like rely on them, you can like, yeah. But a boy for you. And a boy, you know, a boy for me, because Excuse me, I am a male! You're gay. Um, you're my friend. There's also that. Number five is be more comfortable in your own skin. And there's always some kind of an improvement. Because there's always like, I think everyone feels it's like, every now and then you you kind of think, oh god, this isn't good, oh, this is horrible. And it's like, well, actually, not everyone's perfect. And I know it's a cliche, but it's true. Not everyone is perfect. No. And I think you should just be comfortable with who you are and not pretend to be someone you're not and not try to be like someone else because that's not you. So yeah, be comfortable with who you are. Now it's for the ditches of 2014. Oh <laughs> my god. Okay, so the first one is... Chavs! The first one is Chavs. Okay, honestly, every little bit about them just pisses me off so much. Like their style, their personality, the way they talk, the way they talk, their like faces, <laughs> their personalities, the way they dress, the way they talk, their faces, everything. The way they breathe. What we're saying is you should really ditch the chav kind of style. Like, like I'm all for trackies and stuff because I love them. They're so comfy. But I mean, like. Sometimes there's a time and place mm -hmm. where wearing like matching trackies when you're not actually doing sport. Nike oh. isn't everyday fashion, let's be perfectly honest. Nike is for sport and yeah. loungewear. Yeah. Anything else is just 
wrong. The way they wear their trousers is so low that you can see everything. And what you can hear is... Just get rid of them. Two is hashtag box brows. Oh my god, hashtag box brows. Let's delve into this. Yeah, so and basically... Um, as you know, especially 2014, mm -hmm. people wear box eyebrows. So not like mine, they literally draw a box, like a proper box. Like get an outline, they go from there, and then they go to this corner, yeah. and then they go all the way down there, and it's ridiculous. It's like they're wearing a shield on their bloody eyes. It's like they're trying to protect themselves from nuclear <laughs> missile spray oh. from North Korea. Oh, cannons up my nose! <laughs> makeup is to enhance your natural mm -hmm. beauty not to make you look like some sort of freak idiot who doesn't know how to use makeup if you've done it put on twitter hashtag box brows and then just send it to us we think it looks cool at the time and we feel like it never oh, looked cool why do you yeah. think it looked cool how many people were telling all you girls that oh my god i hate it so much but still you went for fucking shelter now and it's like it's not world war ii you don't need to build a shelter in your house and garden okay Number three is slang, but not just any slang. The slang that we all hate. And honestly, can someone please define moist to me? Because after like two no, nice. years, I still don't know what moist is. Like they like, use it for everything. Like if something bad happens, oh, it's oh, moist. It's called moist, yeah. And if something good happens, they're like, oh, it's so moist. moist. It's like, oh, you see that guy over there? Yeah, he's so moist, yeah? Peak. Okay, so uh, peak, peak is apparently bad, uh, but peak reminds me of, like, top of the mountain, feeling great, so everyone, like, confused the chat. Throw it away. Yeah, the word I really hate is moist, because it's like, ugh, wow, moist. Wow, You can say if it's a moist sponge. Lao de beef, yeah, lao de beef. Tofu. Beef is a cow. Are you like having meat with someone? Are you beating the meat? Because that could be a euphemism. Yeah, that's so gay, yeah, that's so gay, yeah, yeah, gay, gay. Oh, that's something I want to destroy. Like, seriously, what is up with that? Gay is a marvellous thing. You should feel lucky if you're gay. If you're gay. Chin. Chin, chin. Thanks for watching. You've been watching Georgie and Greg. This has been our sophisticated video. Yeah. Mwah. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Bye. And also, it's gonna be a, a ditch of. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Hmm. Huh. I thought it was just two thousand four. <coughs> Choking on a popcorn kernel. <coughs> Please stay quietly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If it falls, it falls. Oh, oh it was sausage! Hey guys! That was the worst intro I've ever heard in my entire life. Mm, I forgot to put lip liner on! Ah! Alright, Dita Bunties. Because mm. being yourself as a personality is exactly what everyone looks for. Bitch. Disinterest. Uh, oh shit, I need more wine. <laughs> Should we go down and get another bottle? Yeah. Okay, let's go. Will your phone um, like stop recording?